How you doing everybody? I'm Artist Brian Sheffield. Welcome back. It's good to have you with me today. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to paint today. I have no clue. I'm going to... What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray over this. What it is, I, I made a mistake on the painting. So I sprayed down red, blue, white, and black in a random pattern, just like I did in the last video. And then I burned it, and that's what I come up with. And uh, we're gonna do it again and see what happens. And uh, you never know. <laughs> never. It's like Forrest Gump said, you never know what you're gonna get. So there you go. And uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know why I like these particular colors, but I do. They all seem to work really well together in these night scenes. So we're going to get something crazy going on here. It might be some kind of face. See if we can get some kind of face going on. See if we can get an abstract face up in here or something like that. And that would be kind of neat. See what it looks like. Hmm. I don't know if I like that yet or not. Uh, I haven't used green in a long time. Let's use some green. Put some green in there. Don't know why I want some green, but let's just put it in there just for shits and giggles. Shits and giggles is not a bad thing, everybody. It's a good thing. until you're happy with it, you know. And it says, like Forrest Gump said, life's like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. And spray paint art's the same way. I might just do a trippy nebula piece. Here. No. Something kind of like that. Keep coming back for our plastic. Remember that white's gonna fade out a good bit. And uh, <clears throat> I got a little piece of hair right there stuck up in there and it's round. So we're gonna put a plant right there. Let's do that. Let's put one there. Why not? It's just for fun anyways. No, uh, not really trying to make a serious piece of art. I'm just kind of messing around. Let's see what kind of weird trippy stuff we can get going on here. And we'll come back with all kind of color up in this. And, uh, kind of try to make this stand out some. Anyway, we'll start off with this and I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then uh, I'm going to come back and do some highlighting in it. Alright, so we want to bring a little definition to our uh, our galaxy here. And I got all my paints lined up. I'm going to use all of those. All those colors. I got white, yellow, red, and black. Anyway, we'll throw some stars. Bam, bam. Do a little bam, bam. We're probably going to do that more than once. Depends on how this highlights work out. So, uh, we'll just start off with something a little mild like that. 
first color I'm going to open up is black. I'm going to open up to open up to black. And we're going to come in with some highlights around that. And, uh, here in the galaxy. And we're going to really highlight the crap out of it. But I'm only wanting to hit highlights in certain spots. And it's more of an extenuation type of a deal. You don't want to, I mean, a straight rip is fine and it looks nice, but uh, after a while, those lines tend to fade out. So you want to kind of come in here and do some highlighting. highlight these edges like this it'll uh it'll give that variation in there that you're looking for and a little bit of depth now normally what I do is I only highlight one side of the rip if you highlight both sides it'll enclose it and it won't look right so you just want to highlight just one side See, watch, I'll show you what I mean. See how it encloses it right there? And it's not, it doesn't quite, quite fit in with the theme. So you just want to kind of hit here and there. And uh, with this black, and black is a really, really your depth color. And uh, you can make all kind of neat things happen with it. Every color has a purpose. Just like human beings, God made us all with a purpose. And uh, he has a purpose for every color on the planet. And I wish a lot of people could understand that, but they don't. They want to scream Black Lives Matter, or they want to scream White Lives Matter, or Police Matter, blah, 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 hashtag uh, out the ass. And that's just so stupid. You know, it really is stupid to me. It's very exclusionary. Whenever uh, you name one race over another, it's an indication of, of a slave master attitude. And it's communist. It's Nazism. Nazi. And uh, it's just not cool, man, you know? It's not cool at all. And uh, I tend to have less and less to do with people that, you know, deal off in that, that crap. And I really don't want to hear about it, you know what I'm saying? Because once you take off your skin suit and you stand before the Lord, guess what? We're all the same color. Every last one of us. You be standing there as a person. Not as a black man. Not as a white man. Or an Oriental man. Or an Indian man. You'll be standing there as just a regular person. With no color. And then God's going to ask you, why? Why did you act like that? What the hell is the matter with you? Are you insane? Are you stupid or something like Forrest Gump? You know what I'm saying? Come on, people. If you don't come together and try to fight the bad, then the bad's going to be invited up on you. And that's just the way it is. You're inviting it on yourself. And it's just not my thing. I think we all matter. I really do. We're, we're all awesome. In our own way. This is the way that I try to be awesome. Making nice pictures for everybody. That's, that's just, just my way and what it is that I like to do. Now the reason I got so many brushes laid out over here is because... I'm having to 
clean off between and this paint's kind of thick so it takes a little bit to get it off the brush and instead of sitting there spending time cleaning the brush I thought I would uh, spend time painting instead and the reason I didn't open all my cans is because I didn't, didn't want all them fumes in the house so I'm going to be opening them one at a time and uh, coming off in here with different colors. Now remember this, this, this type of paint right here stays wet. Uh, you can get whatever brand you want. It's just, this just happens to be the one I'm using. Uh, even though I was pissed off at Rust OM because of their plugging up ass caps. Uh, you notice I don't have any Rust OM spray cans. Uh, over here at all because I refuse to use them because the caps stop up so bad so there you go but I do like this thicker paint that they have in these small cans uh, it does really well with these highlights and I like the way it lays better than the sprays and, uh, so we're going to keep using it. I'd like to say that they gave me a thing to say something nice about them, but, uh, you know, I'm not really famous enough to get that kind of action, you know. I'm not going to be making tennis shoes anytime soon, I don't think. I wouldn't mind doing a line of paintbrushes. I think that would be pretty cool. That's something I can get behind. You know, paintbrushes. Because those companies make their living off of what the artist needs. Not off the... Not off the masses... you know, spray paint and lawn furniture or whatever. But uh, with art brushes, it's a, it's a totally different story because they want an actual artist that does stuff live to back them up. And I would be happy to do that if I could, you know, but I'm not just going to do it out of the blue. If you want me to mention your company, you're going to have to pay me. <laughs> no, seriously though. Uh, see, these brushes are made by. It's a Chinese company. Wangqing. At least this this brush that I'm using right now. That's that's the name of it. Uh, I don't know where it's located, but. It's, it's out there somewhere, I guess. But you just keep coming in and, and uh, like I said, you want to kind of balance your color out. You don't want it all in one spot. Kind of try to balance it out a little bit and uh, we want to come out with something nice. So... Okay, I'm done with the red. And uh, I'm going to give my back a break for about 15 minutes and I'll come back and we'll do some more. Anyway, now you want to come in with your yellow. Uh, that'll be the next color that we're going to. I'm going to use my finest brush for the uh, for the white. So you want to go to your next one, next brush here, and uh, remember to push it off on your paper to load up the bristles, and then that way when you get a layer of paint on the outside, it'll feed off, and you don't have to necessarily worry about too much. Let's see where we want to go. Where do I want to go with this yellow? Got 
to be kind of careful with that because this yellow is really, really bright. something like that and uh, since you got it next to the red there you want to kind of continue along with that going with the red along next to it and maybe along some of this black you come off with a really dramatic piece that way something really pretty or at least try to that's what I'm doing I'm trying to maybe a few folks will like it maybe they won't we shall see said the blind man never know what you What's going to come out of something whenever you start making an effort? Sometimes it turns out really good, sometimes it don't. Like I said, I painted over a piece to start this one, so... Kind of follow along those red lines, and uh, next to some of these other colors that you have in here, you don't want to cover them up. You want to go next to them so that you get variation of color in there. You can even go over the top of it some if you want to. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. Put some of this off here by itself. I think I'm pretty close to being done with this yellow, everybody. I'm going to open up that white and finish this off. Actually, I'm not even sure if I want to open that white. I might. I'm Let's see how this turns out here real quick. And I might look at this and decide that I like it just like it is and leave it done. You know what? I kind of like that, everybody. two colors of paint together here for the BS off in there and uh, there you have it everybody we're gonna call this nebulous one y'all have a good day now